Lockheed Martin, L3 Communications and Harris Corp are all on the move after earnings this morning. Morgan has more with her Telestrator debut. Oh, Let's... it is my Telestrator debut. Morgan, over to you. This is super exciting. And Mike Santoli, you put, you've been put on warning here uh, with my skills. You know, Wilfred, we talk a lot about financials, one of your favorite topics, oil, tech stocks, and what that means for the broader markets. One other area that maybe perhaps we should be talking about is aerospace and defense. What do I mean by that? Take a look at this chart. This is the comparison of S&P 500 versus the ITA Aerospace and Defense ETF. This is since President Trump was elected back in late 2016. This chart is courtesy of Matt Maley over at Miller Tabak. And look at the strong, strong, strong correlation of this chart right now. Now, if you extend it back even over the past decade, you still see a correlation, though it's not quite as tight as what we've seen here over the past two years. Why are we seeing this? One key reason that Maley points out, the economy does well, and we've seen this really since World War II, it does well when defense spending increases in a meaningful way. That's the key takeaway there. Now, that's not to say the economy isn't strong for other reasons, but it is a key part of that. We've actually seen it play out in the data just in the past year or so. Durable goods orders, for example, even quarterly GDP numbers, military spending has been a notable tailwind there. So you can take a look at this. You see, okay. Wow. I'm doing it. Um, you can see, <laughs> you can see the decline in the S&P. You can also see the decline in aerospace and defense stocks. One of the things that actually happened during this same time period as the market turned lower was the fact that President Trump came out and said that he was considering cutting defense spending. That's what sent defense stocks lower. So it's interesting, the timing of all of this. One of the things to keep a focus on, we heard it from Lockheed Martin, L3, and Harris Technologies today, is the expectation that we are going to see a defense budget for fiscal 2020, which is expected in the next couple of weeks, that is going to be at were higher than the levels we currently have. So you could potentially see more military spending. What does that mean? More stimulus. Potentially another bigger tailwind uh, for U.S. economic growth. This is especially notable, Wolf. Um, I will tell you because the U.S. is shifting its national defense strategy away from anti-terrorism to one that's more focused on combating superpowers like China, like Russia. So. It's something to keep an eye on. It's just another data point. Definitely. For you. The, the correlation, uh, as you showed since the election, was extraordinary. I feel like my banks led the way, the correlation for the first year of his presidency, but now you, you take over and you win. Nice one, Morgan. Thank you very much. <laughs>